Hi, now I am going to tell something about power electronics. Power electronics is a very important subject in electrical department. Now I am going to tell something about power electronics. What is mean by power electronics? What is the application of power electronics? Everything now I am going to tell. First, what is power electronics? Power electronics is the application of solid state electronics to the control and conversion of electric power. What is mean by control? Control means we want to control step voltages, frequencies, step up or step down the voltages, step up or step down the frequencies. It is a control. Conversion. What is mean by conversion? One form to another form. In power electronics, what is the conversion? It is AC to DC and DC to AC. It is a conversion in power electronics. What is power semiconductor devices? Power semiconductor devices is nothing but it is an electronic switch. It is used in power electronic devices. What are the uh, switches used in power electronic devices? Power diode, SCR, MOSFET, IGBT, GTO. It is a power semiconductor switches. History of power semiconductor devices. Which year the power semiconductor will be started to invent it? It is a 1900. 1900 first power semiconductor device invented in the name of Thyretron. After that first phase, second phase, third phase, it will be invented IGBT, MOSFET, Thyristor, SCR. So many power semiconductor devices are invented. Next, classification of power semiconductor devices depends on number of terminals present in the devices. It is a two terminal devices and three terminal devices. Two terminal devices, pin diode is a and scotic diode is a very good examples. Same as three terminal devices, very good example is power MOSFET, JFET, IGBT, BJT, and thyristor. You see, this is the one graph power capacity and frequency. What is the graph? It's having comparison of different semiconductor devices depends on power capacity, operating power capacity and operating frequency. Example, we need high power application, we must select GTO. Same thing, low power application, we must select MOSFET. Same thing, high power, high frequency applications, we must select MOSFET. Same thing, low power application, low frequency application, we select SCR. This graph very good example for comparison for all semiconductor devices. Next, what is the main application of power electrons? Power electrons main application first will be a controlled rectifier. Controlled rectifier means it is convert AC to DC power. Next, second will be chopper. What is chopper? Chopper is DC to DC. Same thing, inverter. What is meant by inverter? Inverter is convert DC power to AC power. Next, very, very, very important topic, cycloconverter. Cycloconverter is used to step up or step down the frequency. This cycloconverter only mainly used for frequency step up and step down. First main topic is a control rectifier. That is another name is called as phase control converter. Phase control, uh, control converter mainly divided into two types, single phase and three phase. Under single phase, semi-converter, full converter and dual converter. Same as, similarly, three phase also having three types, semi-converter, full converter, dual converter. What is meant by semi-converter, full converter, dual converter? Semi-converter output voltage having only one polarity. That polarity is both voltage and current both will be a positive. In full converter also is a rectifier, but the voltage having both polarity, positive and negative, but current having only one polarity. And dual converter is a four quadrant converter. Full converter is a two quadrant. Semi converter is a single quadrant converters. This is the circuit diagram for full control rectifier. This is input AC waveform. This is output DC waveform. Full control rectifier, you will get both cycles. You see two cycles. 
positive rectifier input is output negative input cycle and output DC voltage. In this circuit, four SCR is available S1, S2, S3, S4. Here, one gate. What is meant by gate? It is triggering the SCRs. If when we give a firing angle, the SCR will be switched on. When the current is going to reach zero, the SCR is turned off. The turned off another method is called the name is called as commutation. SCR turned off another name is called as commutation. Different type of commutation techniques we are used. Normally natural commutation and forced commutation we are used. You see input waveform positive half cycle time. The supply is going from supply input input to S1. S1 when triggering is given to S1. Yeah, supply is going to S1 load S4 and reaches to supply once again. Then we will get closed path and we will get output waveform. Similarly, negative input cycle time, the supply is going to S2, load, S3 and positive. So, from this circuit, we know for positive half cycle time, S1 and S4 will be triggered and negative half cycle, S2 and S3 will be triggered. When we given triggering signal only, we will get the output. Firing angle, minimum firing angle is 0 degree. Maximum firing angle will be a 180 degree. When we given more than 90 degree firing angle, we will get very small output voltage, average output voltage. This is another full control rectifier. It consists of R, L, E load. So, in this load, we having three loads, R, resistance, inductive and battery source, three source available. So, in this output voltage, we having two types of modes, rectification mode and inversion mode. Inversion mode means it is nothing but the output voltage consists of negative. So, it is called as a inversion mode. Okay. Somebody may be asked, maybe the circuit work as a inverter, this is you told, control rectifier. Any condition, the circuit work as a inverter? Yes. When we give an alpha that is firing pulse more than 90 degree we will get more negative voltage compared with positive voltage so that time the circuit called as a inverter what is second condition second condition the battery e is more than supply voltage that time also we will get more negative voltage compared with positive output voltage so it's working the circuit working as a inverter This is a dual converter. Dual converter is a four quadrant converter. It is mainly used for uh, DC motor speed controllings. Next, chopper. What is mean by chopper? You know, transformer. Transfer. What is the function of transformer? Transformer is step up or step down the AC voltage without changing the frequency. Transformer only work AC voltage because DC don't have any frequency. So DC transformer not working in DC supply. How we will possible to step up, step down the DC voltage? It's chopper. Chopper is used to step up or step down the DC voltage single stage. Its conversion is a single stage. So single stage DC to DC converter is called as a chopper. Chopper depends on application chopper having two types that is step down step up chopper and step down chopper what is mean by step down in the down down means da, reducing so output voltage is less than the input voltage is called as a step down chopper step up up means increase so output voltage is increase the compare with input voltage is called as a step up chopper another chopper single quadrant chopper two quadrant chopper and four quadrant chopper four quadrant chopper is mainly used also dc motor speed controlling forward motoring forward braking reverse motoring reverse braking four operation will be uh, happen in the 
four quadrant. Next will be inverter. What is mean by inverter? You know UPS, normally called as an inverter. In my home, it's available inverter. Somebody told, you have inverter? Yes, yes. But actually that UPS box may have two functions. One will be rectifier, another one function will be a inverter. When main power supply available, the supply is going to the rectifier, rectifier uh, and load. The main power supply is having two, but main supply is on, it's going to two. One will be going to UPS box, rectifier circuit and rectifier converted into DC and stored into uh, battery. Another one directly connected to load. Same thing when main power supply is off. What will be happen? Main power supply is off. The battery giving output. What output they will give us? DC. But our all house loading or industrial load, everything operated only AC power supply. So the inverter is converter converting DC to AC. So what is the main function? DC to AC. And that AC is given to the our entire load. This is called as here inverter normally our house that ups box name is a inverter it is a wrong because ups box that is because that ups box having the rectifier and inverter circuit also so not only called as a inverter next ac voltage controller ac voltage controller is nothing but step up or step down the ac input voltage it is called as a AC voltage controller. They having so many times. So a single phase full controlled AC voltage controller. Here why we call this a full control? Because it said two SCR is used. Example, if example one here, one thyristor, here one diode, normal power diode is used. It's called as a half control. Okay, what is the use? First, this is the input waveform. You already you know SCR when it's on, when we give in firing pulse, the SCR will be on. Example, this is the positive half cycle. In positive half cycle, T1 is on, T2 will be off. That time, zero. Zero condition, there is no firing pulse. And in this point, we give one firing pulse, we will get output voltage. Starts to output voltage. Up to, in this point, we will get the output. First half cycle is finished. Negative half cycle, it's going to here, load, T1 is off, T2 is on, it will be a going like this. When it will be T2 on, when we will give one firing pulse to T2, T2 will be on. Here you see, this is a pi, pi, that is 180 degree. 180 degree to 180 plus alpha, alpha means firing angle. In this point, there is no firing signal to the thyristor 2. So it will be a off, there is no output voltage. When firing pulse is given to the thyristor 2, it will be on and we will get the negative output. So positive half cycle we will get VT1 is on and resistor and output supply. We will get positive output. When VT2 on in negative half cycle, supply, supply to load, VT2 and supply. It's a closed path. So we will get the output. This is we can use for step up or step down the AC voltage. This is also one type of AC voltage controller. Another main application for power electronics is a cycloconverter. Cycloconverter is what is the function of a cycloconverter? It is step up or step down the frequency. You know power supply in India 50 Hz. In America and Saudi Arabia the frequency will be a 60 Hz. If we need to change the frequency we must use cycloconverter. Where it will be used cycloconverter? You know induction motor. Induction motor, what is the speed? N will be equal to 120 F by P. What is the F? F will be a frequency. P will be called number of poles. When frequency, supply frequency increase, the motor speed will be increased because speed is directly proportional to frequency. When frequency will be reduced, the speed also reduced. So we must one device need for step up or step down the supply frequency. That device name is called as a cycloconverter. So cycloconverter main application is a speed control of induction motor. Here one 
uh, application for power electronics. This is the power grid. Okay. This is the solar panels. When we having power, we get the houses are getting power from grid grid to houses. Same time, solar energy is touches to solar PV cell. What is the function of PV cell? PV cell is nothing but its heat energy is converted into DC voltage that is electrical energy. This DC energy is stored into the battery. When the power off in the grid, the DC is given output, battery output is given to the inverter circuit. Inverter circuit gives the AC output. That AC output is operated the entire house. If we having any extra AC supply, it's going to the grid line. Same thing, generator. Generator generates the electrical energy and given to the battery. This is a rectifier circuit. Rectifier circuit for storing purpose. For converting AC to DC and storing to battery. When generator is cut, the battery is given back to the inverter. Inverter is converted to AC and giving supply to the inverter. Sorry, given to the grid. This is the main application for power electronics. Main power application is inverter, converter, uh, cyclo converter, AC voltage controller. This is my small topic for power electronics. Small explanation about power electronics.